All right, guys, today uh, I've got this 2012 Chevrolet Cruze that I've rotated the tires on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to reset the TPMS sensor, basically the TPMS sensor matching process, and that's for a tire pressure monitoring system sensor. So uh, what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to turn the key to the run position until we get all the instrument lights to pop on. And then I'm going to take the menu button on the headlight stock here and I'm gonna cycle up to the vehicle information menu till I get the tire pressure. And then I'm gonna hold the set button in here on the end of this. And you're gonna get this menu prompt here on the uh, driver information console here that do you want to relearn? And I'm gonna turn it up to yes. And I'm gonna hold the set button in again to function as an enter key. So now you hear it beep twice and it says that tire learning is active. We're going to go outside the vehicle now and we'll see how the vehicle is communicating to us which tire it wants to check first. So let's go outside the vehicle. All right, so the way the vehicle is going to communicate where you should start is by lighting up the parking light. So we're actually at almost almost all these GM vehicles are going to start with the driver's side front, the left front. And what you would normally do in the older days, in the mid 2000s, is you'd come down here to the, the tire pressure um, or the tire stem and you'd let the air out until the sensor communicated to the computer in the car and said hey I'm here, but you don't have to do that nowadays uh, modern vehicles you use a tool like this This is a uh, an EL 50448. That's a GM dealer number made by orange electronics um, This one here happens to be a knockoff of the genuine Run you about ten fifteen dollars the real one will run you about 75 or 80 all this tool does is you come over and take the antenna here right next to the tire, hold it down, and you wait for it to communicate that the sensor has been reset. You'll, you'll hear a horn beep, and what will happen is it will walk over to the next tire that you need to do. In the case of this one, it's going to walk me over to uh, the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do the other tires, again, just using this device. Don't have to let the air out and all that, and then we'll come back and we'll see how it finishes. All right, guys, we're doing the last one here on the driver's rear. And we're done. Now you hear two beeps to tell you you're done. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the vehicle and see what we see on the driver information con. Okay, we're done here. Just to show you this was all working, I let some air out of the one on the passenger side rear and this is what I would expect to see and you know you should normally see like a little uh, indicator like this guy over here to tell you when you got a low tire situation that's what the whole job of these sensors is to do and then you'll see that on the driver information center here and if I go through my menu we can see that all of our sensors are reporting if you ever have a sensor that's not reporting you'll see a blank value here you won't see the actual um, uh, uh, tire pressure amount like you see here. Let me zoom in on that, make sure you can read it. And of course we see a blink on this 20. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and top off our pressure back to what's recommended on the door jab and the job is done. I hope this uh, procedure helps you out and I hope it was useful for you to learn about this, uh, this tire pressure relearn tool. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.